Hey guys and uh, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a couple of weeks but it has actually been quite busy for me uh, in terms of work and uh, jobs to finish off and um, so and also um, I think you're going to find that it's been worth the wait because there's a new product that I've been testing. Now this product is massive in Australia and that part of the world but unfortunately here in UK and Europe we haven't really seen uh, too much of it. We've all been using the HA bridge which uh, uh, I showed you earlier on in the last couple of years or so and uh, the problem we have with HA bridge is that it continues to work with um, Alexa without any issues however with Google it keeps effectively turning on and off um, as things change so we've got to got to keep on doing updates etc but this bridge is certified by both Alexa and Google which means that any update is automatically done on the bridge as well so you will never ever lose connectivity from that basis as well the other thing about this bridge is is it's got uh, plugins which enhances its functionality so first things first I'm just gonna go to my website and actually click on the link and show you what it's about and so here you can see the diff the a little bit of bump so it, it, it works on Fibaro it works with Vera etc and you can control it with Amazon HomeKit Google etc there are plugins like I mentioned there's about 17 odd plugins available at the moment they because it's an Australian product it's all priced in Australian dollars at the moment the it's approximately two Australian dollars to one UK pound mm -hmm. um, so roughly seven pound fifty and you know what it's well worth it um, which I'm going to show you shortly um, especially the Sonos plugin and the most common one that people want is the Harmony plugin uh, wait till you see what I've got to demo for you and bridge i'm i've got exclusive rights to sell this in the uk and anywhere in the uk it's 105 pound delivered and set up setting up is very very easy and then the plugins are like i said if you want the plugins uh they're extra 15 dollars per plugin but i'm just going to show you what it does natively as well so when you buy it once you've set it up this is the sort of things it can do without the plugins and only if you need the plugins you just buy what you need so that's how it makes enhances the functionality you might ask why do you want a, a bridge when you can use the native skills however if you look on here there's a little video that's been done and if you click on the website I don't think it'll play through my screen recording software but if you go onto my website and click play it will show you um, the difference time difference between native skill that you can get for home center with both Alexa and Google and the speed how quickly it does the actions without the native skill but with the automation bridge instead you'll be surprised now if I click on the plugins that'll take you to the plugin page so these are the plugin that they've got the belt they've got the Belkin, Sound Touch, Broadlink, Storebird, uh, LifeX, Logitech Harmony, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you, um, Garage Doors, Nano Leaf. So if you've got the Nano Leaf system as well, Netamo Weather Station, uh, Philips Hue, um, Sonos as well, and AC control systems, etc. And these are your tick boxes as you can see, it's pretty much compatible with all home centers and home center lights, apart from a couple of items. Um, which are not because of the the lure background uh, that's built into it and one of the other thing is the global eye cache um, you can actually then pretty much make any remote you want via the bridge so it's all there for you so the interface let's go to the interface now this is the interface so when you first log in and click on home when you first get this you are asked to go to the MyScaro website and from there you will create a username and password it will then locate 
the bridge for you on your local network and with that IP address you can then log in locally so let me just go to the settings screen so once you're on the settings screens once you've logged in you can then fix the IP address if you want to here and have it all fixed with all the DNS's and servers etc if you want to create a username and password you can actually uh, enable that as well here and time settings of course home away detection it, it's got that built in I've not tested that yet that's something I need to do soon then you can update with your Fibaro home center settings here and click on verify and then that will then pull in all the details from your home center into the bridge we then have the uh, Alexa services which you can then start Google services which will enable you so enable Alexa services enable Google services uh, voice notifications enable services here if you've got home kit you enable service there as well and the last part is to reset the whole unit if you want to um, uh, once you're selling it etc or you can change all the details on here the good thing is before I forget is these plugins that you do purchase they're tied to the bridge itself not to your email address not to your account actually to the bridge itself so there's no even if you do factory restore everything um, when it's then when new owner takes over whether you've sold your property or sold the bridge then all those uh, plugins are still enabled okay so that's what you do on the settings page now if I click back on home so automatically it's pulled let's just wait for it to right on here on my left is all my devices all the actions that can be performed and on the right hand side is Alexa and Google so on either of these I can then enable what I want from each side so whether I want just Alexa to say it or just Google now my house is um, pretty much Alexa enabled so therefore I've enabled everything on Alexa however for this um, bridge I bought a little Google mini just for testing purposes and therefore um, if, if I did have Google services in different rooms this is where I would actually then enable for everything so I've got yeses in uh, Alexa for a lot of my devices so it's just a case of just going down this list literally and ticking yes on either side so for example here back blind yes on the Alexa backlight yes on the Alexa and yes on Google so I can actually use uh, either service to activate that so as we just go down the list and we can just enable all the different things for so it's just like I said it's very easy just to it's just a simple tick box mm -hmm. so the above top section is all devices and as we scroll down I've got quite a few devices we'll then come to the scenes here we are scenes so from the scenes again same principle a column for Alexa a column for Google and it's just a case of enabling all the different scenes for the different rooms sorry different scenes for the different devices are all there for you so there we are so as you can see not, not many scenes enabled but a lot of devices enabled so they're all there once you have done all this you then have to go on to the relevant tab for Alexa and Google with Alexa what you do have to do is you have to go into your Alexa account and add the skill for the automation bridge once you've added the skill for the automation bridge it um, it will then when you do discover devices it will then pick up all the devices that you've enabled so all these are all my devices that I have actually enabled on the Alexa side and here if I wanted to change the names from here so rather than using say for example cinema sky Q I just shortened it to cinema sky or f1 sim plug which is literally a, a plug-in to power on my computer for my sim racing I just shortened it to racing so when I want to say a command I will just say turn on racing rather than turn on f1 so these are like the alternate names that you can put in so most of them are exactly what I've called them 
in the Fibaro itself and some of them have actually changed the names so once you've done that and you've enabled the automation bridge skill you will just ask Alexa to discover your devices for the Google Assistant um, the good thing about Google Assistant is you don't actually there it's automatic with Google Assistant so once you've enabled it and you've set the names up then that's it it automatically picks up everything and it's ready to um, activate your devices so and that's it notifications tab this is where you would actually create your notification systems and as you can see because I have the Sonos in fact let me just go to plugins first so here's the plugins tablet tab sorry and in here you can add all of these plugins so initially they will all say buy so once you have clicked on it to purchase it will take you through directly to the um, automation bridge website in Australia purchase it get the license and then after the activate your license um, hit the refresh button and it will come up like this to show as an ad so as you can see I've added just the harmony and the sonos for the time being um, theoretically I could still add hue as I've got hue as well um, but so far I'm just happy with these two so once I've added them it then goes into the settings it will then find what you've got so it discovered my two hubs in the two different rooms I've got them in and the activities that I've got on each one it then automatically created uh, virtual devices for me in my Fibaro therefore I can utilize them within Fibaro so do not use the native skill sorry the native plugin in Fibaro this takes care of everything for you so if I now go back oh, just wait for it to catch up so same again with Sonos so it's found all my Sonos zones here uh, but at the moment I've only enabled the backroom zone um, Sonos's and again it created because I've only enabled two it created two IDs for me for the two different rooms so again you don't need to use any other plugin from Fibaro itself you can actually use the plugins based on here which works just as fine so now what I'm going to do is go back to the notifications and show what we can do with notifications now these are all native so the Google notification service is you don't need you don't need any of these plugins at all so because I've got a Google assistant I had a speaker it automatically brought that in here and the speaker became a, a, a speaker for me for the notification system because I've added the Sonos plugin it then enabled all the Sonos speakers to be um, speakers outputs as well for notifications so what we're going to do is I've created four notifications these notifications or these triggers can be anything from my home center motion detection light turned on light turned off etc um, scene activated scene stopped so anything you want so what I've done is through my Google speaker I've set for the backlight turning on and that just says lights on and lights off and for the cinema light it just room on and room off so to distinguish between the two and the Sonos plugin so just to demonstrate um, with even if you've only got Google minis it will work without plugins and if you have the Sonos then you can actually use the Sonos this all uses the text-to-speech system which is all part and parcel of the bridge itself no extra work required no extra programming required so let me go on to my home center and I will switch on the backlight and let's have a look now listen out lights on lights off so there is a small delay because it has to go onto the internet to do all the text-to-speech etc but 
it's working fine and if I go to my cinema light uh, where are we here it is so that was through the Sonos speaker instead so works fine I think the time delay between the Google and the Sonos I think the Sonos was fractionally quicker but that's just my perception now so that's where everything would be set up you can um, if you wanted to run an external command so um, you can actually put a web URL in there and it will actually then do that instead so whether it's to the IFTTT services etc for something different for a technology that couldn't be integrated um, you can actually do that from here as well so that's the automation bridge and brilliant I think um, well worth the money and a lot better than the HA bridge itself now I'm going to come over to the plugins for the Sonos first so these are the two um, speakers that I had and click on here and it can then play music so just click on that and this is just a radio station and it's just playing it fine and then you can just adjust the volume as you saw I did there or then turn it off if you have a playlist again you have to send the playlist through your phone app first and then you can control it such as play forward previous next etc so that's very similar to what the other plugins would do anyway but the big advantage of running it through the bridge is the integration and text-to-speech system as it also creates for you uh, automatically another virtual device this one the Sonos Alert so last announcement so this is a test message one so once I click it it will then play this is a test message a, a test message there's also a variable created this for you this is a test message and I have two speakers set up for the alerts therefore you heard my test message come twice because it sends it through the first speaker and then to the second speaker if I had all my speakers enabled then every single one would have had a message one after the other after the other and in there it creates a variable automatically you can use that then in scenes and it will then push the message across automatically again because it's text to speech it goes online it does take that um, half a second to a second to to respond now to the main part is the harmony and the harmony integrations so before I demonstrate the harmony what I've done is I've been had the ability to get your harmony initialize a scene no I'll rephrase that when I start my activity it will then initialize everything um, by sending that command to the Harmony Hub which will then also trigger a scene in my home center to perform actions those actions uh, would be things like dim the lights close the curtains etc and then it would then start your uh, media devices as per normal you would then use your remote control as normal and if you've got if you saw my other video about uh, the lights integration with Kodi um, that'll just carry on working independently from the automation bridge next if now when I exit my activity when I press off the good thing about this one compared to the native plugins is that it also updates the home center automatically and therefore runs my scenes for opening the curtains and turning the lights back on again etc so that's a massive difference between the automation bridge and the native plugin the fact that it's the home center doesn't have to initiate the activities we can actually do everything via the remote control or the home center or voice it doesn't matter how we initialize it it the whole thing will just work so I'm going to pause the video here 
and I'm going to go over to the room and with my camera. I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, here we are in the cinema room and uh, to the video demonstration. So, here's my remote, two activities, Sky and Cody. And in here, just to, as a reminder, my curtains and lights, etc., are all on Fibaro and all the media is via the Harmony remote itself. The other thing is it is actually daytime, so therefore none of my lights will actually uh, um, work as such because it's daytime. But the curtains, they'll still close. Um, so that gives you the integration with the Fibaro. So I'm now going to press uh, uh, cinema. So my screen's coming down. So it's all in harmony. Amplifier and projector, etc., all turning on. Uh, as you can see, the screen is um, closing. And I'm just waiting for the picture and sounds to come on. So let me just put the sound up. There we are. So that's the sky page. Come on, as usual. So I'm just going to leave the volume low. So here you are. So those are the different things that have come up and how we can effectively integrate both within uh, Fibaro itself and initiate an activity from the remote. The native Fibaro plugin does not allow you to integrate or do everything from the Fibaro plugin. Um, you have to initiate it on Fibaro itself and then all the other bits and pieces will carry on working. However, when you turn everything off, you have to manually uh, set the uh, uh, the scene on the Fibaro itself. So that's why this is a lot, lot better. So now I'm going to switch off the remote. So let me click on off. So it's now powering it all off. There, all powered off. Everything switching off, amplifier, sub uh, speakers, uh, sorry, projector, screens going up automatically, and and there, and my curtains opening again. There you are. So this is why this bridge is amazing. So I'll go back to the computer now. Right, guys. Now we're back on here. So. I'm glad uh, you saw, enjoyed that uh, video presentation of how the Harmony integrates. And I think that's gonna be the biggest thing for, for all of us here, the fact that we can integrate Harmony properly and the way we want to, and it's about time to be honest. So um, I'm glad you've um, had a look at this and I hope you've enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'm awaiting my shipment to arrive shortly and uh, hopefully from next week I'll have all these units available to be sending out. The Like I said, the price is 105 delivered anywhere in the UK. If you need support, then give me a shout and then what we can do is we can add some time in for support. Normal support is £25 per hour. However, um, if you order support at the same time, then um, it'll be £20 an hour as um, same time as getting the bridge and uh, i think that's it for now and any questions as usual mm -hmm. leave me a message send me an email etc etc and um, and i'll get back to you all i can say for now is thanks for watching and uh, see you guys soon bye for now <laughs>